sitting on my boat and one of the clients is a doctor brought up a woman holding her by her elbow and the woman was had a bloody napkin to her face I mean there's blood all over the napkin I thought uh oh face plant teeth knocked out and uh, or at least a very badly split lip and I asked what had happened and the woman covering her face with a bloody napkin just shook her head I said, you have to tell me what, what goes on, let me see it. And, uh, and she lifted away the napkin and, and put it back again. I couldn't see it anymore. And I said, well, what went on? And then the doctor said, she tried to kiss a lizard. <laughs> and the lizard would have none of it and just bit the hell out of her. <laughs> really lacerated her lip. <laughs> so I asked a question. And uh, my medical training <laughs> requires is it, why did you try to kiss the lizard? <laughs> she said, because someone told me it was good luck. <laughs> uh, thank God it wasn't a rattlesnake. Katie Lee says, you know, Canyon may not have changed profoundly in maybe a hundred thousand years, but uh, just a few days can change your life down here. There's a magic in the Grand Canyon, and it has to do, for me, it has to do with the rocks, the sound of the water, the feeling of this immense amount of time. Everything we see here, it took a long time, even though it's very recent on the planet, but you know, we're talking four or five million years, but it just humbles you. It forces yourself back to your own center. And the canyon slaps you into thinking about those kind of things. People who have never had a spiritual thought in their life have them here in the canyon. You can call them what you want, but they have those kind of thoughts. Coming back to the Grand Canyon to connect, to connect with myself and also to connect with the planet. There's no place like it. You're cut off from everything. You say goodbye, you log off your computer, you're off your digital phone, you're in the canyon, and there's something about it, something about the river taking you deeper. You're going back in time through the layers that pulls you in, makes you realize really what's important in your life. It puts you in the moment. There's no other way to be and that's the way to live life. This may sound too simple, but it's great in consequence. Until one is committed, there's hesitancy, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness concerning all sorts of initiatives and creations. There's one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the one moment one definitely commits oneself, providence moves to. A whole stream of events issues from the decision, raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents, meetings, material assistance, which no man could have dreamt would come his way. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it.